Hello and welcome to Statisticians Hub. This video deals with the issue of transforming a non-normal data to normal. The first step is to check whether the data set we have needs to be transformed or not. That is, we check the normality of the data. Certain tests are there to check the normality. One is Kolmogorov Smirnov test and the other is Shapiro Wilk test. The Kolmogorov Smirnov test is a non parametric test of the equality of continuous one dimensional probability distribution. That is, it is used to test whether a sample comes from a given probability distribution or to test whether two samples come from the same distribution. The statistics require a large number of data points to reject the null hypothesis. Whereas the Shapiro will test is also a test which is used for checking the normality. The test tests the null hypothesis that the sample come from a normally distributed population. The Shapiro will test is more appropriate for small size but can also handle sample sizes as large as 2000. Now once we know that the data set we have does not follow the normality condition, we can apply different transformation to convert the non-normal data to normal. The details about the transformation is mentioned in one of the video of Statisticians Hub. Basically here we will be discussing four types of transformation which includes logarithmic transformation, square root transformation, inverse transformation and box cock transformation. Let's move on to SPSS to perform the analysis. To perform the analysis we have the variable name data. Let's check whether it satisfies the normality criteria. Go to analyze, move on to descriptive statistics and then explore. Now uh, we have the uh, variable data so move into the dependent list. Click the statistics button and then click on descriptive statistics and then continue. Again select plots, click on histogram and normality plots with test. Click continue and then OK. So in the output window we can observe that there is a table uh, indicating test of normality. We can observe that both Kolmogorov's Minov and Shapiro Wilk test have significant values less than 0 0.05 which implies the data significantly deviate from normal. Since the normality criteria is not satisfied, let's try to transform the data to normal by applying logarithmic transformation. For this click on transform, move on to compute variables, define the target variable as log data. From the function group select arithmetic then a new window pops up from where we select log of log base 10. Move log base 10 with the upper arrow to the numeric expression box and we select our original values of data here. Then we add plus 1. Uh, the 1 is added because we know the value of log base 10 1 is 0. So our original data series may contain values uh, with 0. So the addition of 1 is required. Next click on OK. So we obtain the new column the column is named as log of data. This data are the transform variables after applying logarithmic transformation. Now these values, uh, whether these uh, values uh, satisfies the normality criteria or not, you can check by again applying uh, or going for the KS test and the Shapiro will test. Let's try the square root transformation to make the original non-normal data series to normal. For this click on transform, 
move on to compute variables define the target variable as square root of data from the function group select arithmetic and from the function and special variables select where it is written square root use the up arrow and move it to numeric expression and then you take the original data uh, where it is, where the original data variable is written that is data and then click on ok so we have obtained a new column named as square root of data after applying the square root transformation you can again go for the Kolmogorov's mean of test and Shapiro will text to check the normality of the transform data next we try to transform the non normal data series to normal using inverse transformation so for this again click on transform move on to compute variables define the target variable as inv data in the numeric expression type 1 divided by the original data series plus 1 here the plus 1 is added since in our data series one of the value may be 0 then that point will be undefined so the addition of 1 is required next click on ok so here you can see that a new column is added with a variable named as inverse of data which contain the values after applying the inverse transformation so again you can check the normality by going through the Kolmogorov Smirnov test and Shapiro Wilk test Voxcox transformation is the next transformation we are going to perform to make the original non-normal data series to normal for this first we need to rank cases so select transform move on to rank cases from this uh, take the variable data to variables click on rank cases we don't need the simple rank click on fractional rank continue and then click on ok we have got a new variable with fractional rank now to perform the next analysis we need the mean and standard deviation of the original data series we can easily get through it from analyze descriptive statistics descriptives of the original data series that is data move into variables click on options uh, click on standard we need only the mean and standard deviation rest we can uncheck and then click on continue ok so we can see here that is the mean is 3.9825 and the standard deviation is 8.48363 so now we again move on to transform then compute variable we define the target variable as b c data in uh, from the function group we select inverse df and from the function and special variables we select idf dot normal using the up arrow move it, we move into the numeric expression here within the braces you can see that three values are required the first value is of the fractional rank second value what we have got through the uh, descriptive statistics uh, that is the mean of the original data series and the third value is the value required of the standard deviation of the original data series so uh, first uh, the first value we take that is the fractional rank 
the mean of the original series if you remember it was 3.98 and the standard deviation was 8.48 and then click on ok we get a new variable of the values after applying the transformation so again we can uh, by applying the kolmogorov's mean of test and the shapiro will text you can check the normality of the series obtained after transformation this video tried to cover up few of the transformation to convert the non-normal series to normal one thing you should remember that after applying the transformation your transform series may not convert to normal. In that case, you may take the help of non-parametric procedures. If you have any comment, do comment in the comment box and do like, share and subscribe our channel Statisticians Hub.